I'm Al Phil Reese. I'm Anna Safford. And this is Mod Po Minute, actually five minutes. We're hoping to scratch the surface of a short poem that we like. So let's get started. Hey Anna. Yeah. We are here sitting on the front steps of an old building in Center City, Philadelphia at the Rosenbach Museum and Library. Yep. And in this building is 90% of all of the manuscripts and library books and notes and typescripts of Marion Moore, the and poet. And casually the recreation of her entire living room. And also Maurice Sendak and James Joyce. But anyway, we're here to talk about a poem by Marion Moore called To a Snail. All right? And I'll read it and we'll talk about it. If Compression is the first grace of style. You have it. Contractility is a virtue as modesty is a virtue. It is not the acquisition of any one thing that is able to adorn, or the incidental quality that occurs as a concomitant of something well said that we value in style, but the principle that is hid in the absence of feet a method of conclusions, a knowledge of principles in the curious phenomenon of your occipital horn. All right, well, this is probably not just a poem about a snail, but if it's a poem about a snail, what's it saying? Uh, well, the first line, if compression is the first grace of style, snails tend to be small, mm -hmm. so we could be saying something about the compression of the actual snail and then mm -hmm. the occipital horn, I think, ref refers to the shape of the snail shell. Right. And how does a snail move? Slowly. Mm -hmm. Well, it compresses. It compresses and... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. compression is not just a feature of its whole physical being. Right. It's also a way that it moves. Okay. But this is not just a poem about a snail. Right. What else is it about? Probably a poem about poetry. Meta poem. So who is you? I mean, the you is the snail, mm -hmm. right? If compression is the first grace of style, you have it. Could be you the reader, too. Yeah? Yeah, you the reader of the poem. I think it's the poem. I think it's hilariously the poem. Mm, that's funny, too. Yeah. Contractility. Is that a real word, do you think? It could be. It sort of seems, it seems a little bit. Um, I think she only used real words, but whatever. Yeah. What's it mean? Like the ability to contract? Yeah. yeah, contractility. The ability to contract is a virtue, as modesty is a virtue. So compression, which right. in imagism we think of as... Like concentration. Concentration and power. Mm -hmm. The ability to, to compress is power, but here it's a virtue and modesty. Yeah. So Robert Burns wrote a poem called To a, to a Mouse. This is sort of a follow-up. A little bit, yeah. And what's the thing about that poem? Why would a poet write to a mouse? People, poets didn't write to li about little miscellaneous things in those days. Yeah, but they, uh, the sort of Burns idea is like, let's let's write to a mouse just like we would write about, yeah. you know, something more t traditionally suited to so a poem. So, big time expressor, like a poet, mm -hmm. go, does poet subject and then writes to a little bitty yeah. mouse here or like she's the john to dunn you know to a flea to a flea so yeah. there's a tradition of this but now she's a modernist and mm -hmm. she's saying not only am i from on high choosing a small and this is a romantic revolution thing right. using a small thing to write but i'm also in a way saying that poetry itself can be this little this mm -hmm. modest this regular yeah so is there another piece of evidence that she's being metapoetic? Uh, well, there's the line about the absence of feet. That seems to be a pun on the, the this isn't written in with any kind of discernible metrical regular style. In addition to a reference to the snail that right. doesn't have feet, right. but it moves along. It's really funny. Yeah, it's really funny. And the absence of feet, meaning metrical feet, this mm -hmm. is a poem that's free verse modern poem. Yeah. So last question, right? It's a poem to a snail, and it's a poem to a poem. It's like an ode to a poem. What's yeah. it saying about what's important about poetry? Well, one of the things I think, especially given that it's to a snail, right? A, a snail without its shell kind of has no form. Like, they're sort of blobby. 
Mm. So I think this this point about compression, contractility, oh. the absence of feet, oh. um, is kind of saying a snail is sort of the perfect example. Oh my gosh, that's great. Okay, here's my final thought based on that. Uh, modern poetry is form, right? Form is more important than content. Mm -hmm. You you, right? It's how you not say what you say. Right. It's <laughs> not what you say. It's how you say what you say. And a snail is an actual physical animal world instance of the importance of form, which is the shell. Yeah. And compression, contractility, and the absence of feet is a justification for form. Totally. That was great. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. If you liked this episode, watch another and subscribe. And join us for ModPo, a free and open course at modpo.org. <laughs>